Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're featuring a new artist for the channel, Madison Cunningham. This is a folk singer-songwriter who writes very interesting songs, and she is also known for her covers, although today we're going to be looking at an original song. This is her most recent album, which is called Revealer. It's kind of a 3D-looking <laughs> cover. Yeah. This is, a, this is a nice record. This came out in 2022. So this is called Who Are You Now? And it's got the song on it that we're going to look at today called Pin It Down. It's the uh, lead-off track. It's got a music video, so we're going to take a look at that. This came out in 2019. This is an EP called Wednesday, and it's got songs by Jeff Buckley on here and uh, the Beatles. But um, she's a fan of Joni Mitchell. I've also seen her do really awesome Nick Drake covers. Um... All kinds of stuff, really. She's, she's, I think she likes all the same music we do. But she's younger. She was born in 96, so she's 27. And she was nominated, this album was, for Best Americana Album at the Grammys that year. Then the Revealer album did win a Grammy for Best Folk Album. So once again, this is called Pin It Down, and uh, I'll just give a, a little bit of the lyrics. When I stand back, I see a little clearer now, when I'm not staring right at a pixelated picture. When I shut it out, it still hurts the same somehow, and I'm standing right where I said I would never be. I can't pin it down, but I think we've been here once before.
Interesting rhythm and uh, drums sound pretty funky. Yeah, kind of, kind of on the you know low volume but very funky side. Yeah, like I think it was using brushes. Yeah, the vocals kind of reminded me of this. Might come out of left field. I was thinking about like Jewel, K. Hanley, and I think I hear some Joni Mitchell influence as well. Yeah, I would say that those all sound. They're all. Um, pretty much within the same realm of what she's doing. She does it really well, I think. Haven't seen the video before. It's, it looks like they need a fire extinguisher or something. But, uh, mm. Or maybe they're, maybe they're creating... Yeah, there was a lot of smoke in that video. I wondered it was, if it was supposed to be creating a dreamscape or something like that. I don't know. But interesting, too, with the mannequins, including one that looks just like her. Also, I just thought the song was not overproduced, but it was well-produced. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. It was like just enough ear candy. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways they could have approached it, but using this approach, I think that it came out beautifully. Really nice, clean, you know, and very interesting. So, um, yeah, definitely agree. Yeah, I find her to be, a, you know, just it's listening to her. It's a little bit like not really like listening to anybody else. She's got her own thing going on there. Yeah. And it's, and it's very strong, and it and it carries... You know, you hear a little bit of 70s influence. You also hear a little bit of 90s, perhaps. Like when there was a little bit of electric guitar in there, it reminded me very much of the 90s. You know, and probably everything else coming up to this day. But she is steeped, it would appear, in uh, the old music, the classics, you know, from 70 to 90. You know, she's a Jeff Buckley fan. She's a Nick Drake fan. I believe she's probably a Joni Mitchell fan. And so, um, fantastic. It all uh, informs her music. And it's just a treat to listen to. Okay. Yeah, just the musicianship was also very good, I noticed. I, I definitely agree with you on that. Yeah. Really <laughs> nicely done. Folks, why don't you let us know what you thought of this song, this artist? You know, anything else having to do with it? The video? The approach? If you're, if you're already familiar, do you have any of her music? Have you been to any of her concerts? Anything like that? Do you follow her? Let me know. It'd be interesting to find out. Sounds like she's still a little bit up and coming, like she's known, but not that well known. But she's definitely on the right track, it would appear. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on this, and we will catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.